So over the last little bit, I've seen a lot of talk about Black Panther 2 and why it's not moving forward as fast as it should be. And a lot of people are saying that it's due to problems, where I actually don't think that's true, but let's talk about this more. So first thing is first, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is moving at a slower pace this time, obviously with some of their sequels. Early on, they knew they hit gold with things like Thor and Captain America that they wanted to move forward with, you know, with the Iron Man and things like that. And then it expanded so rapidly that there are so many characters out there that naturally some of them, even though like the likes of the third Thor movie is taking longer, Guardians 3, Black Panther 2. And you have to understand that they're developing other franchises as well. Now, like I said, Shang-Chi, most likely, February 2021. Disney also has a February 2022 date. That's most likely going to end up being Black Panther 2. And it makes a lot of sense, right? Like, just think about that. Once again, it's a February month, just like the original. And Black Panther's not going anywhere, you know? It's just taking a little bit more time because there's other things they want to get the ball rolling on. And also... They've said, look, Coogler, you can have more time. You know, he said he wanted to do a couple things, then he'll get back to Black Panther. You don't want to get rid of him. You don't want to rush him, so let him take his time and develop the movie that he wants and write a coherent script and maybe get the rights to a few characters out there that people want to see. I don't know, Storm could be tossed in there now. Namor could realistically be tossed in there now. They, they have, like, the entire Fox assets available to them now, so... It's something that's going to happen, but I don't think there's a single, like, strand of truth to it being delayed by problems or anything like that, because that just doesn't seem like something that happens at Marvel Studios a lot, unless they fire a director and then rehire him. 